what can also happen in severe cases um, is that jars can actually explode. If there is bacteria, Welcome back to Kirshner Farmstead. I hope that you are having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Today we are going to be canning pickled jalapenos with carrots in them. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our brine heated up just enough to dissolve the salt, okay? We're gonna add in eight cups of water, four cups of white vinegar, and a half a cup of canning salt, of canning or canning or pickling salt. All right, I'll get that on the stove and started. Okay, you guys, so we are going to be using the slicer blade on our food processor today. And first we're gonna do the carrots. Okay, you guys, now this is the important part. If you don't work with jalapenos a lot, I highly recommend that you wear gloves while you're doing this, okay? I had the worst experience once not wearing gloves and my hands were burning. We did everything. We tried pouring milk on them. We tried doing deep greasers because capsaicin is an oil. We did all sorts of stuff to try to get the um, burning off my hands and all, I just had to wait until it stopped. So I highly recommend that you use gloves if you're not used to it. Justin can do this totally fine, no issue. I cannot, so um, proceed with caution. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I forgot to mention earlier, I did also peel my carrots before um, I shredded them. It is recommended that you do that. There are several people that go back and forth on whether or not they agree, but um, I, I just like to peel them. Okay, you guys, now we are going to pack our jars. I tossed the carrots, so hopefully they're pretty evenly dispersed throughout the jalapenos. We go through about nine to 12 of these jars a year. Specifically for our cream cheese chicken chimichangas recipe. It is delicious. And I actually got a request today for me to make a video on it. So I'm gonna get that up as soon as possible. So we used three pounds, we used a three pound bag of carrots and about six pounds of jalapenos for this. Okay, you guys, I don't have enough um, for a whole pint left, so I grabbed a little four ounce jelly jar, and I'm going to pack this little guy, and it will go onto my gifting shelf. It's amazing what you can whip up for a uh, last minute gift, um, or a pre-planned gift, when you have a whole shelf of little jars of canned goods ready to specifically give. Okay, you guys, we are going to fill these up to a half an inch headspace with our brine. I work with all sorts of hot peppers, habaneros. I've even worked with ghost peppers. And I tell you, jalapeno, jalapenos hands down give me the worst. You are definitely going to want to run a debubbler or a chopstick around this because there is a ton of spots for bubbles to get stuck. So even though my brine is warm, this is technically still considered a cold pack. My product is cold, my jars were cold, um, and they are going to be going into a cold canner. My brine is warm, it is not hot, so um, we don't want to cause any thermal shocking. All right, you guys, I am using a baby spoon as a debubbler right now because I cannot find my chopsticks or my debubbler. Somehow I have a feeling the kids might have had something to do with that. <laughs> Remember that you don't want to use um, metal for as a debubbler like a butter knife because trust me, 
It's really tempting to just grab a butter knife out of the drawer and do it. But they do say that it causes micro nicks in the jars over time if you do that. And you want your jars to last as long as possible with how much how expensive they are now, right guys? All right, you guys, we are going to take a clean, dry flour sack towel. I don't have a boiling pot of water in here right now, so just make sure that it's clean. And you're going to wipe your rims off. Really, you're just with vinegar and water. I mean, you're really just making sure that there's no seeds on your rims that are gonna get in the way of it sealing. A lot of people actually like to wipe their jar rims with vinegar, so I personally don't because I have found that it encourages faster rusting over time. Like if I've had some uh, pickled pepperoncinis that were like, you know, five, six years old and they, I, you try to get the ring off of it. This was back before I knew that you were supposed to take the rings off. Um, you try to get the ring off and it's like completely rusted on. Yeah, that's not a good thing. So now I can take my rings off of all of my mason jars. That's another big debate. The ring off or on? Well, I believe in the ring off because um, if there is a problem with inside of your jar, if you have a bacterial growth going on in there and you have a ring tightened down, what can happen is the bacteria can pop the lid up and then the ring being on there can actually reseal your lid down and that's called a false seal. And that then you could open it and you could have bad product in there and not even know it. Now, what can also happen in severe cases um, is that jars can actually explode. If there is bacteria buildup enough, this glass will go before this metal ring will. So you make sure that you take your rings off. As, as far as I'm concerned, it's not even an option. I don't want exploding jars. If, if uh, you take the lids off, the worst thing that's gonna happen is the flat, you'll have the flat on there, right? It'll be like that, and your flat will just pop open and you'll have rotten food coming out of it. And yeah, that's gross, but um, it's a heck of a lot better than an exploding jar, because that is dangerous. All right, so we are just going to be tightening our rings fingertip tight. Do not go farther or you will have buckling lids. Are you guys in a heat wave too? Holy cow, this is supposed to be like the hot, this week is supposed to be the hottest that our area has been since 2006. It's supposed to reach 109 degrees and we're in the mountains. So <laughs> it's going to be very hot. So we are going to be canning outside. And so we are going to take our jars. We're going to get them outside into a cold water bath canner. We are going to bring them up to a boil and then we are going to process them for 15 minutes and we will be back. Thanks for sticking around guys. Bye. Hi you guys. I apologize about our lighting. We have no power right now um, because there are a bunch of wildfires around us. Unfortunately, if you go back to our video that we posted last Saturday, we have a DIY um, air purifier that is great for using during these fires if you are interested in that. Um, but we currently don't have any power and we don't just wanna run our generator full time. So um, this is the end of our pickled jalapenos video. We wound up with nine pints and then one little gift size four ounce jar of pickled jalapenos. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Sharing is really the best way to help our channel out. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.